is up. This video is gonna be a life chat. It video. might be a little long. Grab some tea, grab some coffee, and let's get to chatting. If you guys don't know me, I'm Jasenia, and to update you, if you're new to watching this, I'm currently a fiance. I am getting married next month, and I am moving to Japan in October 2019 with my future husband because he is in the Air Force. That's all the updates you need to know and I'm also a full-time student in acupuncture school. This video is going to just be a life chat, what's going on, where I'm at with YouTube, where I'm at with school, and where I'm at with life. Life chat. Let's start with getting married. I am getting married in September 15th. I got engaged July 8th at the Japanese Friendship Garden and we are getting married very quickly because he is getting deployed in October for a year. He will be leaving and will only be able to, I'll be able to visit him or him visit me, whatever the case, for 30 days. He will have 30 days of leave and then he'll also get an extra 30 days since he is going overseas. But we'll probably save that for taking off in Japan or going back home to New York because we're both from New York. This video is probably going to be like all over the place and a rant and I'll try to keep it organized. But my point is we're getting married on September 15th and we're having a small wedding ceremony and then we're going to have our bigger wedding after Japan. So we're going to be living in Japan for three years and then we'll have the wedding after Japan in New York where most of our family is. We're just doing the small ceremony now because, you know, with our immediate family and friends that live in Arizona. That is the plan so far and I have everything planned out for the wedding and finished up everything. I just have to do my DIYs that I'm going to do and I'll definitely be uploading those videos for you guys in probably end of September, October of my wedding and the things that I bought and the things that I made. Also, I will show you how I spent on a small wedding because I'm also having a bigger wedding in the future. I'll show you what you could do or if you guys are getting married or ideas that you could have for a small wedding ceremony and how to make it affordable but also, I guess, look really like nice. I'll be doing those videos and that's gonna be really fun for me to do. What else? We have, okay, so I'm getting married September 15th and then Devin will be leaving. He'll be home for two more, two weeks from that 15th, like almost two weeks. And then he'll leave in the first week of October. We will be moving to Japan in October, 2019. Now I'm starting to teach myself a little bit of Japanese. I'm using this app called Duolingo and that's how I'm going to learn for the year for right now. And then Devin also actually has already a Japanese for Idiots book. So I'll probably take a look into that. It just depends how busy my schedule is, but that's what's happening then. And I kind of want to learn more how to use my camera to take better pictures in Japan. Although my new Samsung phone takes really freaking good pictures. Then, what else we have? School. Now, I'm in school for acupuncture and I'm getting a master's degree. Now, I'll probably be doing some videos on how I organize and how I, my study routine, if you guys are interested in that. I'm gonna be, you know, thinking of videos like that, especially since it's actually real life of what I'm doing right now and I kind of have to stick to those kind of videos right now just because I don't have extra time uh, on top of me taking 25 credits I'm also starting to prepare for the boards now with acupuncture I have to take three different boards I have to take a biomed board I have to take foundations of Chinese medicine and then uh, acupuncture points. It's a point, we just call it points, but you guys don't know what that means. Acupuncture point test, foundations, and biomed. I'm gonna be taking the biomed first because it is Western science and I just am following a guideline that my friend recommended to me. And then I'm gonna take the foundations because that's gonna have points low, uh, also in it as well, so it will set me up for success for the points test. And I'm gonna kind of split it up. I'm gonna take the biomed in February and then of 2019 and then 
probably the foundations in April and then in June, July take points if you guys were interested in how I was gonna lay that out. I'm kind of strategically trying to organize everything so that I'm ready to go, no procrastination, and I have already started studying for boards, and there's a lot of organization involved to keep me on track. If I don't have everything planned out to keep me on track, I wind up procrastinating and not doing it. So I literally have like three calendars. I have a whiteboard calendar, and then I use a planner and then I also use the calendar on my phone especially this month with planning a wedding and being in school I'm non-stop all day long for the most part the fact that I have this time right now to do this video and I'm hoping it won't take too long is a miracle in a sense taking a lot a load and I'm finishing school a year earlier and I have a year left then in October I will move to Japan with Devin my future husband I will have a ton of videos for Japan. It's just wedding, school, and Japan. And that's pretty much the update. There's nothing too much interesting happening into my life. Uh, my routines, I'm trying to really, you know, get my routines nice and sharp because I'm literally like scheduling from like hour to hour with breaks in between. But that's just my lifestyle right now and that's what I have to do. If you guys have like any recommendations of videos that you want to see involving any of those topics, wedding, Japan, or school, definitely leave it down below because your girl is tired of thinking and she just started studying. But anyway, so that is that and that is pretty much the update of everything. Devin's getting his shipment in, he'll get 500 pounds to take to wherever he's going in October. Another shipment when we go, and then we could also ship. Uh, we're probably gonna be storing my car because it's really expensive to bring a, you know, a, new, a new car from the States into Japan. So it's really not worth it. So we'll probably store it, but with the military, I'm starting to like learn. Things can change constantly. Things are changing like all the time. So it's never the same thing, like Devin will tell me one thing and then like it changes. If I say one thing and then things changes, don't think like I was just lying or something. It's just how the lifestyle is and you gotta bear with it. And it's creating a little bit more patience in me because I don't really have patience. With the military, you really can't do anything in that sense. This is the lifestyle. Hashtag military life. My dad was in the military, but he w was in the reserves when I was like, and he was he was active, but then he was in the reserves. So I've really only known my dad in the reserves, and he would get deployed somewhere, but I would physically never like go move around. It's new for me to move around in a military lifestyle. It's exciting because obviously we're going to Japan for three years, and you guys gonna have you're gonna be part of the journey with me. Anyways, and then Shiva and Fluffy are staying with me. I cannot visit Devin where he's going. Uh, I could go meet him somewhere or he could come home Whatever we decide to do with the leave and then I do have a two-week break in December hoping that we would be able to see each other then just because it's really hard to take off school when you're taking so many classes and just to make all that up it's crazy but we'll see because it just all depends on that base and what they say you can and cannot do we did have our brief meeting at the military so i might be able to do acupuncture at the military base we have to call them and you know find a time because we're a 10 hour time zone dif difference or i will call to find out if i'll be able to do that and and, and you want to kind of do it now the the sergeant told us to do it now because at least they know they could prepare that we're coming and just to have like a job slot i guess uh, I'm not sure all the details, but now I'm part of their Facebook page. They work with wives and spouses who have husbands that are deployed. So that's really cool. So they have like different activities like once a month or whatnot. And then they also have therapy, which I'm also going to take advantage of because you guys know how much I love therapy and just for my mental uh, well-being. And then that's pretty much it so far. And then pretty soon I'll be getting my military ID and all that jazz. My military, uh, military license, marriage license and whatnot. We're getting that soon. And that's pretty much the update. In between school, I've been 
ordering things, going to stores, getting things to decorate the chapel at the church. And then I got my dress. I got a person for my makeup and hair. And I got a photographer. No appointments, nothing. Like, if anything could go smooth, that is the best blessing I have right now is with the wedding. I'm getting everything without appointments. Like my dress, I didn't get an appointment. I just went into David's Bridal and got a dress. Uh, the flower arrangement I found from a recommendation from the photographer and they were actually booked a wedding but I just needed a bouquet so they are going to do that for me which is really awesome. And then I uh, got a photographer through someone from Instagram. I looked on Instagram and the girl I found, she couldn't do it so she gave me that recommendation like four different ones and I found one that's available for September 15th. Excited and I know usually things like that don't go so smoothly and it all went smoothly with me so I'm very very thankful for that and yeah that's pretty much it. It's, I'm just super busy with wedding planning and school that is all. My life is not that interesting, but it's kind of interesting. And uh, I'll stop ranting. I hope this update brought you some entertainment. I don't know. Definitely ask me any questions if you have any questions down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Namaste. The light in me honors the light in you.